finish of the 1994 AFL Premiership season. Is that Paran as a senior club are no more. The VFA has fallen into line with the VSFL under 18 competition by virtue of the fact we now have seven zones uh, plus Geelong, which we believe will go to Werribee. These are the zones, uh, just to try and make it a little more uh, understandable for you. That northern zone there, we believe, will be Frankston's. The central zone will be Sandringham's. Box Hill have what is called the new zone there in the middle of uh, Melbourne. Out on the uh, eastern side, we've got Dandenong, Springvale and Oakley all vying for that one. So... Who knows, it might be one or the other or an amalgamation of them. Preston, the northern zone. Coburg and Port Melbourne in a tussle for the northwest zone. Williamstown to the west and Werribee, whether they like it or not, have been earmarked to get the Geelong zone. Tony Hannabury is the VFA president, the man in the hot seat. He's with Ross Booth just before the bounce for the third quarter. Tony, those zones, they don't seem to fit the VFA uh, with the VFA clubs. Are they non-negotiable? Well, I, I think so, Ross. The, um, the fault for that, I suppose, is with the, the uh, VSFL, who, who have established that very successful under-18 competition. The AFL have directed the VSFL to establish a premier open-age competition, and it's got to be based from the bottom up on the under-18s. So we are, we are working to their plan, not to our own. And will it be called the VFA? I'm very confident will, for, certainly for 1995 and indeed 1996. So what's a bad time? What's to, what's to happen in the next uh, week or two? When do we know? Well, well we're meeting with uh, five clubs and uh, and we're going to try and allocate the uh, the licences that are that are in dispute. And uh, that's going to have ramifications, as you'd appreciate, yes. for, um, for all H five clubs. How soon will that be? Uh, hopefully by uh, the end of the month. It's been a tough time. Is it the only way for the VFA to go? I, I believe it is. I mean, we've known about it for two years. In that two years, it's been a, a period of great instability since the Gannon report was first uh, promulgated. And, and we're, um, we're now in a position where our funds are drying up because our club's funds are drying up. If we continue, to, if we continue the way we're going, well, we are in a situation where our clubs are just going to die on the vine and, and so too, of necessity, will the VFA. And all the presidents have gone along with, presumably, and the, all the board? Oh, yes. Now, I just want to make clear, I mean, this isn't a Tony Hannabury show. Um, the board of management is guided by the, the clubs, and the clubs have voted to, to have eight teams in it. Now, it's just a question of which eight out of the 12. So even the clubs that are voting to decrease the VFA in, in support reluctantly, like Paran, I suppose? Yes. So, um, but, you know, the clubs are facing the stark reality of, of these harsh financial times, and, uh, and, and this is an opportunity that, that is just too good to, to pass up. I mean, we keep our name, we keep our clubs. Um, it's not out of the question that even the four clubs who um, who aren't selected um, can be under 18 teams just as uh, you say you could have, have a, ju a junior v a club yes. could retain with a junior VSFL under 18 side. And, and, a, and a club in that situation such as Brand intends um, are going to go into a, a period where they'll just have the under 18s they'll uh, they'll have the the income from their um, they'll have the income from their, their pokies and uh, in a couple of years time they, they may be uh, right for the uh, for the A, a licence. OK, thanks, Tony. Uh, politics to, to follow, but we've got to get back to the footy. We've got a preliminary final here and the grand final next week. Thanks, Tony. Had to be president of the VFA. Thanks, Russ. We're two minutes into the second quarter, our third quarter, and no score as yet, so the half-time margin remains. 17 points to Box Hill over Springvale. As Lyle gets the ball down, O'Neill gets through pretty well there. Oh, Pitsy! And could Box Hill mount something from this? Disney with Heaney telling him he's clear. Good long kick. Too long for Houston, perhaps, who might have been his target. And the throw in is 60 metres around from the Box Hill goal. We will continue our future of the VFA discussions at three-quarter time with Sam and Phil, who are itching to get some questions into Tony, but unfortunately, <laughs> well, fortunately, I guess, the footy back underway. Helfen's handball, the beauty, Davison. Heaney couldn't mow him down. Good mark, Baldwin. He got a shove as well. Yes, they must score a goal. Very, very soon, the Vales struggled in that second.